It's time for another hashtag Freedom Family discussion. Today, Brittany gets your opinions on intros and if you think they're useful or a total waste of 10 seconds. <clears throat> I really hope I have a job after this. Hello, Freedom Family. Today, we're going to have another hashtag Freedom Family discussion. And today, we're going to be talking about your intros in your videos. Sassy Mike did talk briefly about intros a few weeks back, talking about what he thought of intros. P.S. who doesn't like them. So today I'm going to share my opinion on intros within the gaming world. And as this is a discussion, I encourage you guys to talk about your opinions down below in the comments. First off, I'm going to talk about the main reason why I do like intros. If you watch gamers like LD Shadow Lady, yes I mention her a lot but I can't help it, I think she's hilarious. So yes, we're going to reference her a lot. And there are probably some other gamers who do the same thing I'm about to share with you, but off the top of my head I can't think of any, and I don't watch that many people, so you tell me people I need to be watching. Do that too. That, that you can put for me down in the comments. But my point, <laughs> before I got way sidetracked, oh look the butterfly. My point is that they utilize their intros as like a break between a really funny and entertaining moment and the rest of their video. Now if you haven't really heard the term before, the first few seconds are called an attention grabber. And this is very important for grabbing the attention of your viewers. If you're starting off your video with something that's really fun and exciting or entertaining, then you have successfully captured the attention of your viewers and they're gonna wanna stick around and find out where in the video this super awesome part is from. I plan to utilize this in my own videos once I have enough money to spend on a really cool intro. A trend right now among a bunch of my friends are really cute pixelated intros. And I I am in love with them. They're so adorable. The artist who is making all the intros for my friends is called Bin of Trash. And she makes intros and pixelations and all kinds of other really adorable stuff. So I will leave her link below if you guys are interested in checking her out. Secondly, we're going to talk about why I do not like intros. And it's pretty much only if they're too long, irrelevant, or annoying. I know that pretty much covers a really broad area depending on what my opinion is. And each person's opinion is their own. So don't bash each other when you're talking about it down below. Be respectful. Yeah. Sesty Mike brought up the fact that a lot of the intros he doesn't like are the ones that are like dubstep music with just your name flashing on a screen. And while I don't think that they're anything amazing or spectacular half the time, I don't think they're all that bad. I kind of like the beats to them and they're kind of fun. They usually grab my attention a little bit too if they're well done and interesting. I feel like these generally work out better for guys or girls who are just a lot cooler than me. I can't rock the dubstep. I mean, I could probably rock the dubstep, but I don't know. If those are kept really short, then they're usually okay. They don't really represent you other than just showing your name, but not awful. The other ones that I'm not really fond of either are the template intros that are like stock and just flip around all the different shapes and do weird stuff and it's like me me me. Just don't do stock intros unless you can do something really cool with them. But most of the time, you can because they're just stock intros and it's like people's waiting for like 20 seconds for these shapes to flip through themselves and ugh. Really great intros should be less than 10 seconds and represent your channel in a way that people will understand basically. Personally, I have not yet had an intro made for one because I didn't feel like I really had enough of a following to where I needed to spend the kind of money to put into my channel. But I'm now up over 3,000. So I feel like people are interested in me enough to where I can actually start investing some money into my channel and making it look real good. Another reason is also because I kind of don't know what I would do. I don't really know what would represent me in my channel and like, uh, just, I feel like I can't commit to that kind of giant thing to put into every video. My friend Scott has like him on a little rocket ship, which is adorable, but I don't want to copy. And Phoenix is, has wings and she's flying and there's fire and Yami's like, get down, get whatever it's, she says and she blasts the thing and I'm just like, I like food, I like to play games, I like my dogs, pretty much like what? <laughs> I'm sure if I sat down I could think of something, but okay, I'm rambling. I had coffee before I shot this, so you're welcome. A 
Okay, so like I said in the last video, these videos here with me are for you guys to have discussions with each other. I want the Freedom family to become a family and get to know each other and love and hugs and talking and making friends. So just let me feel like I'm doing that and making that happen. The only main rule here is just don't spam the comments with your channel. If you're gonna post a comment, make sure you say something nice about someone else's stuff and stuff like that. So, interact, have fun, make friends, talk about the topic at hand here, which is intro videos, and have some fun. If you guys would like to see any more of me, you can find me on my channel, Brits Games. Link is in the description below, as well as Bin of Trash, who is the amazing artist that I talked about previously in the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye! Why, <coughs> 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 I do... Why are there so many trucks? But I can't say words today. <sighs> Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.